house may be transformed into looking fresh by a number of small touches. And today I'll be sharing some of the tiny tips and tricks I often use in my home. In order to freshen up the fridge, I found these printed liners some time ago. And I simply switched up the plain ones with these for a nice fresh change. I mean a simple liner immediately upgrades the fridge in no time. This also led me to cleaning the fridge in general. I will try and put a link of this in the description box. There's no way to pose. And if you fail, you know what there's The most often issue I am asked about is how I prevent the grease and stickiness that frequently accumulates in Indian kitchens on the containers and cabinet doors. Let's face it, we can't wash every single container all the time. So here is a simple trick. Make a vinegar and water solution and use that to wipe things clean. Vinegar is an excellent choice for quickly and easily removing handprints and other similar stains from jars, making them seem almost like new. To drop you from the clouds, so we hang. I've already shown how to repurpose milk cartons by planting seeds in them in one of my older videos. We had methi coming out fresh, thankfully. <laughs> but because of the lack of sunshine and additional unexpected rain, the coriander was somewhat of a flop. <laughs> However, better luck next time. I'll try the coriander again and perhaps the weather will cooperate a little more this time. <laughs> I usually try to keep all the leftover food or chopped veggies in glass containers so that I can see everything very clearly. Most of these are from IKEA in my case. Do you have any recommendations for good containers for the fridge in particular? Wet wipes are another shortcut I often use. If you have any excess of them, they really do make things extremely simple. So you really don't need the DIY solution. If there are any odd marks on the handles of the cabinet doors or other items in the kitchen, I often use the remaining water and vinegar solution to clear them off and the entire activity hardly takes any effort or time to do if you do it alongside your main work. Oftentimes, a place might seem dull due to the little inconspicuous details. Even though it receives the greatest daily traffic, we hardly wipe the surface of a light switch. Using a magic eraser or a magic sponge, with very light hands, I really can clean off all the dirt easily. Naturally, a basic cleaning solution will work as well. In addition, I use uh, the magic sponge to wipe any marks that may have resulted from moving furniture on the walls. Any remaining water will instantly evaporate off the wall if you're worried about that. <laughs> I believe it's a good idea to take care of ourselves in addition to updating our homes. <laughs> Make this simple drink if you are fatigued or exhausted after a long day at work. 
Summer time is the perfect season for refreshing drinks just like this one. Using a few spices, we will quickly make a powder that we can use to prepare our drink whenever we want. Today I am introducing this drink that primarily uses fennel seeds and lemon as the main flavoring agents and we have a lot of other spices to complement it. But I also like to make drinks with mango sometimes so let me know if you'd like to get some ideas about those too. Kitchen sink when cleaned with a simple dish soap versus something meant properly for such a use case makes a huge difference in how it finally looks. So if I had to share my way, I begin by using scrub daddy. I really like how thick this cleaning sponge is. It was a game changer. Now warm water causes it to soften while cold water causes it to stiffen. Secondly, I wash the basin or the sink with sif. However, there are also some organic options if that's what you like. For that, a generous sprinkling of baking soda together with vinegar or lemon will likewise produce good results. We have also started to carry extra juices and homemade drinks when we go out to shop or finish some chores since these drinks are really relaxing and energizing. My most used drawer is the one which houses tea, coffee, sugar, extra oil, my spice container and kitchen towels too. So it's a multi-purpose spot which needs to be organized from time to time. <laughs> I had been meaning to bring this one in order for a long time now but it had been taking a back seat. I line my drawers with these first so they make the drawer very easy to clean. As I've said before, the little changes have a big impact on how well decorated and fresh the house seems. So right from the sink, the countertop and spotless jars in the kitchen coupled with a clean hob provide the foundation of a nice looking space. Same is the case for other rooms in the house as well. If you use chopping boards for decorative purposes on your kitchen countertop or use them otherwise, both ways it's important to keep them clean looking and the simplest method to revitalize your most used kitchen item is to give it a thorough oil cleaning. This prevents the wood from cracking in the coming days by acting as an appropriate hydration for it. A little quantity of this oil goes a long way. I think I bought mine from IKEA around 2 years ago. Now the key here is to do this consistently depending on how much cleaning and usage the boards have had. This green corner creates an illusion of a mini jungle and makes the room feel fresh and full of life. 
Shuffling the plants around every now and then makes it looking all new. After being well oiled, the boards seem much nicer when resting on the counter. Thus, simply wait a day after oiling them before you would like to use them again. My husband was working in his room and after a long day, he was starting to get hungry in between his meetings. <laughs> So a simple recipe that just takes 2 minutes to prepare is bhel puri. Usually I just combine whatever I happen to have in my fridge and the results are nearly always rather delicious. This time I had onion and tomatoes of course but apart from that I had last bits left of the green chutney and the tamarind chutney so I added those two as well. In goes the chaat masala and black salt. Chopped coriander for the much needed freshness. We like to add some peanuts too. I keep some roasted ones at hand. A little bit of namkeen and save to top it all. A simple recipe that is fresh and light on the stomach. I hope you give it a try too. A good technique that I often follow at home to freshen up the plants is simply to place them in the bathtub. I mean it's an easy and shorter method to cleaning them and I think the plants also often enjoy these sessions. This may be done in a regular shower as well without the need of a bathtub. Since this method allows the water to reach the bottom of the container, indoor plants often benefit from this care and you will notice positive outcomes. Black surfaces show up dust way faster than white, which is why each time someone asks me about how difficult it is to maintain a white home, I say it isn't hard at all. In fact, I find myself struggling with any surface or equipment that happens to be in a darker shade. Since dust tends to show up immediately on it. <laughs> By the way, I use Swiffer to dry dust everything in my home. Recently, I came across a blog post where this recipe was mentioned made using jalapenos. It seemed so simple from the looks of it that we had to give it a try. <laughs> well, don't worry, this won't be too spicy as we will get rid of all the seeds. It still can get a bit on the spicy side depending on the kind of jalapenos you have an, on that day. So we simply make a mixture with cheese. I've taken cheddar along with some chopped onions and capsicum is totally optional. I added oregano too just for some flavor. The idea is to make a simple filling that goes into each side of the jalapeno. Since these are tiny in size, the overall result will be well balanced. I was pretty happy with the result and they tasted yum. So that was it from my side. Hope you enjoyed today's video. See you all next week.